This short tutorial is an addendum to my longer video showing how to use Photoshop to create an action that will place a logo or text watermark on any size image and in any proportion. This video is intended for people who use the TK Actions custom panel like I do. The TK Actions panel comes with some numbered buttons which can be programmed to run custom actions of your own. I'm going to show how to assign my watermarking actions to those custom numbered buttons so that I can play the actions with a single click right from the TK panel without even needing to open my Photoshop Actions panel. To do this, I'm going to go to the TK Actions V4 or if you have the V3 panel, V3 folder set and there you'll see the six numbered buttons that can be custom assigned. I haven't assigned any of them so I'm going to start with the number one. So I'll expand that action and then the next step is to uncheck the stop command so that the action won't stop there. And then highlight that stop step. So now I'm going to record on that action from that point going forward. So with that stop step selected, I can just click the record button to begin recording. And next, all I need to do is select the watermark action that I want to be assigned to that button. So in this case, I'll assign my logo watermark action and then just click play. And what that does is it tells the number one button in the TK panel to play my logo watermark action when it's clicked. So now I can just click the stop button and I'll also open up the number two button action and uncheck the stop and highlight that step and click record. And now I want to select my text watermark and play that action to assign it to the number two button and then click stop. And that's all there is to that. So now if I want to use the TK Actions panel to size an image and then place a watermark, whether it's text or logo, I can do that all right from the panel very quickly. So for example, if I want to size this image to 1000 pixels and then place my text watermark on it, I would click the number 2 button and there it is. And if I go to my vertical image and size that to 800 pixels vertical, or let's just do it different this time just for something different to do. Let's go 1000 pixels vertical, click OK, create that sized image and I want to put my logo on this one so I'll click the number one button and then if I also want to put my text watermark on there I would click the number two button and there they are. So that's how you can assign any of your own custom actions to those numbered buttons in the TK panel. Creating actions that will place watermarks on your images like this takes a little bit of time to set up, but you'll get all that time back after placing watermarks on just one or two images with a single click. I hope these videos have been informative and helpful. Now let your images go forth with your identifying watermarks.